RPR. Discover why everyone is talking about it. What is RPR? RPR stands for Regenerating Perennial Ryegrass. It refers to a unique group of Barrenbrook bred cultivars of perennial ryegrasses that produce determinate stolons as they develop and grow. Stolons, sometimes called runners, are growth shoots emerging from auxiliary buds at the base of a plant. They grow horizontally just below the soil surface and will develop roots at subsequent internodes, in turn developing entirely new plants. This is a form of asexual or vegetative reproduction. Determinate stolons differ from typical stolons in that the new plants have an end point, a terminal. They will produce a flower and hence reproduce sexually if able to. Normally perennial ryegrasses don't have any stolons. They are tufted plants that will not exhibit a creeping growth habit. The RPR concept is so different that in the US a new subspecies classification has been confirmed, Lolium perenne stoloniferum, based on the determinate stolons and their aggressive spreading habit. There's also a patent in the US for RPR. Put simply, RPR is unique. The determinate stolons enable the RPR plants to spread into the surrounding area, for instance to fill in gaps in the sward caused by wear damage. RPR can literally regenerate itself, which gives an entirely new dimension to perennial ryegrasses used for sports turf. Its ability to recover from wear is unparalleled. In trials it's been possible to see the effects as early as three months into the plant's life. They can grow at any time, but there is compelling evidence to suggest they are most active coming out of winter. This fact has obvious potential benefits for winter sports pitch recovery and for fine turf renovation for summer sports. Premiership Football Club Manchester City agreed to field test the RPR mixture in 2011 as part of an extensive product trial period, along with a handful of other Premiership Football Clubs ahead of its commercial launch. Trial pitches were sown at both Carrington and Platt Lane training grounds alongside existing mixtures for comparison. Due to its outstanding performance and results, RPR was launched in 2012 and is now used extensively throughout the club's facilities, including the stadium. I first started using RPR uh, summer 2012, following trials done at our two training grounds, which I was very impressed with. I was keen to use it here. It's fair to say we've had some good results with it. We have six pitches, four of which are used for the first team and two for the reserves. From what we've seen with RPR, it has changed for the better in that we seem to have a lot more grass cover and the recovery rates are a lot more than what we've had previously. This used to be the first team's original training ground, uh, but now that it's been developed into the you know, full-time academy. The players this year have commented that they've uh, come on and praised the surface, especially the coaches. They think they've never played on it something like this since they played at Wembley. We use the RPR at the stadium and we use it at our academy at Platt Lane and we're using on all these six pitches at Carrington Training Ground. The training we're having here, six days a week for the first team, for the reserves, EDS, under 21s, it would be seven days a week at the moment because we've got the under 18s here as well. With the wear and tear and more usage levels we're having now, it does seem to repair quicker and uh, that's a major benefit for us. Yeah, so, so far this year, we've been very happy with what's happening and uh, I'm just waiting on the manager to see what his demands are as well. But overall, it's come through very well. Last year, you know, it was our 10th season here and it's probably the best pitch we've had in those 10 years. We're hoping for the same results, probably a 30% better take by the time the season started than in previous years. It's advanced more. The stadium pitch is always in the top five in the Premier League, best pitch in the country. And after all the concerts and all the events, I mean, we can't really go wrong with that. One thing we've noticed this season compared to last, we've had three games here. As you can see now, you know, what you see hasn't been divoted since the last game. We're at the south end of the stadium, which is the coldest, it has the least light, hence why we've got the lights on now. But it's not been divoted for the first three games, after a game, or the day after. The actual regeneration, you see some of the finer leaves there, which, you know, coming up from the RPR, as well as the bar 50, which we've oversown with to try and give us some protection, you know, we're going to come into a period now towards the end of September, October, where they're going to be on the pitch eight times in 14 days with games and training sessions. So 
we feel at the moment we're in a good place to be able to withstand that. I've used Barrenbrook now for 12 years since I've been at Man City Football Club and I feel like the grass seed is right for me and we seem to like each other. It has improved from last year, definitely has. The plant's more stronger, we've got roots down to about 7 to 8 inches. All in all, at the moment we're very happy with where we are. It's doing very well and we're very happy with it. At the Castle Course at St Andrews Links, Barrenbrook was called in for some advice and implemented an overseeding programme beginning in autumn 2012, primarily in maintained rough areas. We used RPR in our semi-laughs and our callies and our walkways. We had a difficult start to 2012, weather-wise was very poor and we have a challenge in topsoil. We felt from a presentation and definition perspective we were uh, lacking, so we decided to uh, intercede all our semi luffs and our carries with the RPR. What I did was I looked at the courses down the bottom and then you look at the, the older courses, the classic courses, the majority of the semi luffs, uh, the good quality semi luffs have a, a quite a significant portion of that is ryegrass. We've been using obviously the, the barrack stream on our walkways for maybe the last three or four uh, seasons. We've been using the bar platinum on our tees with some good success there that we felt obviously that you know we need to look at what we're doing. I did have some concerns of how we'd go about blending the ryegrass into our existing sword so we've had a close working relationship with Barnberg for a few years. The option of the new RPR uh, was um, discussed and we decided that was the, the best way uh, to proceed. The results have been excellent. Uh, we seeded everything in September of 2012. Uh, a nice mild start to uh, autumn, early winter. We had a great strike, really pleased with that. Obviously knowing that with the ryegrass we'd have to increase our fertility to our semi-roughs and our carries. And we've had some really good success. We're actually now uh, mowing um, on a more regular basis and we have good definition, we've got a little bit more uh, colour, some very good comments from our golfers and our members about the benefits uh, to the semis and the overall presentation and look of the course. Blending other ryegrasses with RPR delivers a better all-round mixture synergy. This is a key element of the product's success. Top-rated cultivars like Bar Orlando help to improve aspects such as visual merit, colour and disease resistance in Bar 7 RPR, and varieties like Bar Gold can be found in Extreme RPR to enhance the fine leafed appearance and the cleanness of cut in the blend. RPR is available exclusively in the Bar range. It's mixed with other normal perennial ryegrasses in two products, Bar 7 RPR for winter sports pitches and Extreme RPR for medium fine turf and summer sports. Isn't it time you discovered why everyone is talking about RPR? <laughs>